Hello, um, you may be familiar with uh, this challenge where you're given an infant supply of water and you're given a five litre and a three litre container and you must measure four litres exactly. And this uh, challenge has been made famous by the Die Hard movie. And I've also got a video on uh, my channel, channel that um, actually uh, shows how to solve this puzzle. But I've been asked recently, is there a simple way of solving this uh, challenge if you're given other bucket or container sizes? And I can say that I've looked into it and yes, there is a, a simple way of solving um, for this same sort of challenge, but for other different uh, bucket or container sizes. And so what we're going to look at now is a, a different uh, combination where we've got um, a 10 litre and a 7 litre container and we must measure 9 litres. So the first step then is to um, use the 10s and the 7s, um, different adding and subtracting, what will give you 9. And you can see there that I've done the 10 plus the 10 plus the 10, which is 30, and then I've taken away 7 and another 7 and a third 7, and that gives me 9, or at least 9 as the answer. So that's going to be the basis of our, uh, of our solution. And then this, the next step is to actually rearrange the sum. So then you're adding and then subtracting. So 10 minus 7, 10 minus 7, and 10 minus 7. And that also gives uh, 9 there when you add those uh, three sections together. So what we need to do now is actually test it out and see how that would work in practice with the uh, with the containers. So you can see there that we fill the 10 litre and pour it into the 7 litre bucket until it's full. And the 10 litre now will have um, 3 litres remaining and then we empty out the 7 litre bucket. So that's like the first lot of 10 minus 7. And then pour the remaining 3 litres into the 7 litre bucket. And next we fill the 10 litre again, and the same process, pour it into the 7 until full, and the 10 litre bucket will now have, um, have 6 litres remaining, and then we empty out the second, the 7 litre bucket. So that's like the same, once again, 10 minus 7. And then uh, we pour the six, remaining 6 litres into the 7 litre container, and then once again we fill up the 10 litre container, which is the plus 10, pour it into the 7 until it's full, and the 10 litre will now have uh, 10 minus 7 minus 6, which is equals 9 litres remaining, which is that sort of third lot of a 10 minus 7. So you can see there that uh, we're actually sort of uh, working out different combinations that will give you 9, and then um, rearranging it so that you're adding and subtracting all the way, and you test it out, and you can see that, that um, what you've worked out there actually works in practice without actually having to sort of think about all the uh, the backwards and forwards of filling and emptying. Um, first of all, you do some quick calculations on paper first. And uh, one thing also I was going to mention that not all um, combinations have a solution. Um, one that I was looking at before is um, if you've got a six litre and a two litre container, how would you measure seven litres? And this combination of buckets is not possible to solve. Um, no matter how many times you add six and take away two, or adding two and taking away six, or whatever you've got, you'll always end up with an even number, and it will never be seven. So there we go. So, so not all combinations of, um, of buckets um, and outcomes have a solution. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.